And welcome back into our NBA Tonight studios. Jonathan Coachman alongside Tim Legler. This past week, the Orlando Magic, two blockbuster trades, bringing Gilbert Arenas to Orlando, Hito Turkoglu, Jason Richardson, and Earl Clark. All right, let's evaluate Orlando's moves and what they look like going forward. Well, they've lost both games since they acquired this talent, but yeah. I love what I've seen, and I'll tell you why. With me, for the Magic right now, it's just missing shots. You're talking about guys, they're a little bit out of rhythm. When you join a new team, you want to please everybody, so you're not quite in the aggressive mindset you would. Even when you take a shot sometimes, you're wondering, is this a good shot? All of those things are going to sort themselves out. I'm more pleased with the fact that they're getting wide open looks, and that means that you've got a lot of talent on the court, that defenses are having a hard time figuring out who to defend. Eventually, Jason Richardson and Gilbert Arenas, Hader Turkoglu, those guys are going to start getting it going offensively once they find some rhythm and some chemistry. And when they do, you now have one of the best offensive teams in this league. Defensively, they've got to get some help on the front line down the road. You're asking an awful lot of Turk Lou and Brandon Bass to play the four spot right now. They're just not big enough, not physical enough. Defensively, they've got to shore some things up. But offensively, I love what I've seen so far, even though they're not making shots. None of those guys that they required are in rhythm at all. But we are agreed that they needed to make the moves now as opposed to waiting until February or March, right? Absolutely. You make it now, you give these guys a chance to gel, and now you've got to really try to build up some momentum, some steam headed toward the playoffs. That's all, all you're thinking about. You're gauging yourself against the top teams in the East. And I don't think they were good enough the way they were constituted. And I think that's obviously what the organization felt as well. Now you go out there and you go position by position. Whoever you're matched up with, you can compete athletically with whoever you're playing. That gives you a chance every night. Remember two years ago, they went to the NBA Finals. Last year, Eastern Conference Finals. He's Tim Legler. I'm Jonathan Coachman. Enjoy your NBA week.